Knowing the strong sell signals allow investors, candlestick investors, to take advantage of a major change of investment of a market trend. The Dow had had months of a good steady uptrend because they could never close below the T-line. Up here in the overbought condition, it was still showing the lack of uh, selling or closing below the T-line until this predominant sell signal, the left-right combo, a doji followed by a bearish engulfing signal, told you there is now a dramatic change of investor sentiment. And it told you immediately because you had a strong sell signal, which was the left-right combo in itself, and a close below the T-line. Add to that the bearish doji sandwich, a big bearish candle, a doji, followed by a big bearish candle. That doji sandwich also had implications. There was going to be more downside. So this whole area right here, until it breached the uh, T-line, uh, you were in an uptrend until the strong sell signal, given the candlestick investor the advantage to start closing out long positions and adding short positions during that uptrend or that reversal. And the same scenario occurred in the uh, NASDAQ. Even though the NASDAQ did a bearish left-right combo, it didn't confirm because it still closed above the T-line. But because the Dow was selling off, we were getting ready for this potential sell signal, which was, again, the doji sandwich that closed below the T-line. Stochastics heading down. Now you start watching to see what everybody else will be watching as far as the next support level. It could be the 34, it could be this level, it could be the 50-day moving average. Knowing that the markets were selling off gives an uh, advantage to uh, identifying which stocks might be the strongest sells. As we can see in TLRY, there was a wedge formation setting up. You had a bearish engulfing signal. Again, followed by a doji sandwich, getting you prepared to start shorting this stock, especially when it came through the bottom of the wedge. This produces that extremely high probability that if you've got sell signals breaking a pattern that everybody else is watching, like a wedge, that the probabilities are going to be greatly in your favor that you're heading in the right direction. Knowing that the market is selling off makes the sell signals of individual stocks like CENX, a bearish engulfing signal, close below the T-line. Trading below the T-line, and again, there's your bearish doji sandwich once again, breaking this lower support level that you could start shorting over here and stay short until you see a buy signal to close back up above the T-line. You add the analysis of a strong bearish signal. First of all, on AAXN, you had a gap down doji. A lower open the next day creates one of us our strongest sell signals, a bearish flutter kicker signal. I'm sorry, a bearish, uh, a bearish kicker signal, flutter kicker signal. That started this strong downtrend. So if the market is trading off, and you've got a strong sell signal in an individual stock, again, that's putting all the uh, stars in alignment for being in the right direction at the right time. But that doesn't necessarily mean that all uh, positions are bearish. ARQL did a kicker signal today, a strong kicker signal. Given this, the prospects of still having bullish trades even when the market is heading down. The candlestick signals allow investors to see what is going on in investor sentiment, making for either strong bullish uh, positioning or strong bearish positioning, no matter which direction the market is heading. That'll be it. We'll see you in the chat rooms.